this uh, 208 letter. Um, I'm not sure how many we, of these we have, but I do know uh, this boar pig is stuck out like a sore thumb since we, we pulled him out of the nursery. The 208s are then and now on the top side. Uh, another really good litter out of him. Um, and bottom side here is 89-12, and she's out of Who Made Who. And, uh, you know, we used Who Made Who on, on a couple very key sows, and uh, the results of that, uh, you know, maybe weren't uh, show, win, and bear us, uh, but we've got some very unique sows, and one of those is the mother of this one. Uh, she's got a stout skull. Uh, her, her body shape and her skeleton is right, and, uh, you know, she's the kind of female that, that I like, uh, that I like to look at in the boar barn or the sow barn. And, uh, you know, versatility in females is so important because when it's time to breed them, and, and you're, if you're pigeonholed into one spot, you can only use one kind of a boar, um, it gets pretty challenging to make better pigs. And uh, these who made who sows have got some versatility, and I think that's on full display here with these 208s. Uh, again, the 208s are then and now who made who. Neat critter here, and uh, I can tell you just off pedigree, um, if you asked me what I think they needed to look like, it would be this pig specifically. Um, man, he's got... Uh, if you ask what they should look like out of then and now? Then and, well... Or yeah, just anything? Anything. Okay. His blend of pedigree on paper, I think, reflects this visual appraisal very, very fittingly. Um, man, that thing's skull is, is next level good, but yet on top of that, his look um, is very good. Um, and don't underestimate just how short and how moderate and how heavy boned this thing is to have that kind of look and to have that kind of running gear. Um, for a heavy boned one, his toes are great. He's as long hipped and on the corners behind as you can make one um, that's still functional and correct. Um, you know, obviously, um, it is the middle of July. So for those that are hunting, um, for those earlier targeted shows, you know, Phoenix, Denver, blah, 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 whatever, the first half of the year, um, by all means on the calendar, this one should be more than okay in terms of size and wheelhouse there. But obviously for those guys that are hunting for later on, and um, there's a lot of pigs you have to sell this summer and, and fall, but um, I certainly wouldn't be passing up on one like this because his basic utility in terms of a skeleton and body and rib shape and muscle is next level good. And then his extras, his look, his bone, and, and just his presence presence um, is going to be hard to mass mass produce or to just go find more of these um, again his combination of skull bone look all that stuff is next level good and has got the running gear to take him a long long ways and uh, this one will classify Hampshire yep yep he will class Hamp um, again doesn't matter where you want to show him what division this is a good pig here in this 208